Hey friends, it's Ash from Ash Knows Travel. I use Canva almost every single day to make travel flyers, YouTube thumbnails, social posts, you name it. But the truth is, for a long time, I wasn't using Canva to its full effect. So today I'm gonna show you 10 genius Canva hacks that'll save you time, make your designs look more professional, and honestly, make you feel like a pro designer even if you're not. So I'm already logged into Canva and this is what everyone's screen shall look like. I am on the desktop of Canva, so it might look a little bit differently if you're on your phone. But for the first hack, I'm gonna go ahead and go into Canva AI. It is one of my favorite tools to use inside Canva because it's like having ChatGPT already built in for you. Inside there, you can use MagicWrite, which will instantly create text like captions, bios, or blog posts. You can also use Magic Design to turn a simple idea into a full design and within seconds, or honestly just type what you want and Canva will do the heavy lifting for you. Here it is there, and then if you can't decide what you want, you can even scroll down and it'll tell you everything that the Canva AI can do. The next hack that I wanna show you is built into the brand, which is above Canva AI. So brand is a pro feature that they have that lets you create certain things that you re reuse all the time. So for example, I use the brand kit a lot, not so much the templates or the controls. They have templates that you can brand so you can constantly reuse them, but I use brand kits the most. Brand kit is where you can go in there and set up your own logo. You can set up your own text, colors, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and open mine. Now I do have all of my logos built into it. So I can just go in and hit like brand and then logo inside a post and just send it instantly. And then when I open it with the brand kit, every design that I post automatically comes with colors like this. This is my brand kit. And then the fonts, the fonts are also there in the side of the actual post as well, which I'll show you in a little bit, but you can come in here and set it up to where, how you want your title, how you want your subtitle, and it will automatically design stuff for me as well the brand voice if you want to have your own voice and even photos can be added in here with graphics and icons so it does a lot honestly it kind of keeps going i use mostly for the colors so it all has the same fitting the logos are right there for me and then the font section the next hack that i want to show you is magic resize so a lot of people have this issue that when they're going to post something it won't actually let you post it because the file is too large so when you have this issue, you can go into, I'm gonna just pick a random file that I have, this right here. Now you do have to have Canva Pro in order to do a magic resize, but it shall populate right here. You just click resize. And then the best way to go in and to resize it is to either pick by category or just search exactly what you want. For example, if you're having an issue with the file being too large, you can go in there and just make it to like a smaller size or you can i would say like instagram post right it'll make it smaller and then even when it comes to saving the doc some options will let you compress the file to make it smaller when it saves so those are the two options for resizing another cool feature that i want to show you that's also pro inside of here is going to be just editing the photos in general when you're editing things you can go in and just do all different types of stuff with your photos so let me just pick a photo here Let's just say I pick this photo up top. I have to grab it. Nope, nope. All right, so I grabbed the photo and now I'm gonna go ahead and click edit. This works for any photo that you have, but it gives you different options that you can do with it. So first we have background remover. So if I just wanted to get rid of the whole background, I could do so. It also has a background generator. So it'll change the background of the photo magic eraser if there's something you want to get rid of it you can grab stuff inside the photo grab text in the photo you can edit the photo and even expand it if you wanted to i mean there's a lot there's filters effects there's even apps that they have built in to canva that you can go in and pixelify your photo if you want to but if you just want to do like a simple background remover you don't have to go in depth and just like go to the edit mode you can just click this background remover right here the pro feature and it will remove the entire background of the photo now the next part i want to show you is going to deal more with text a lot of people have issues with their text when it comes to making posts on social media so let's make it a little bit easier for you now you can see i have different styles of text as i go throughout how this one's like really bright and this one for example has a background to it 
this is an effect that you can do to your text. And I always recommend doing this when you are designing so you can really pull out the information that you want to showcase. So how do we do that? If we click on the text here, you're going to see it here. It says effects. If you want to move the text like it's an actual video, you can just click on the text itself and animate it. But right now we're going to click on effects. So I currently have the neon one in there. It works best with white. Just letting you know if you do yellow it'll be really bright but like for example if i click on it intensity here and then we can even go into changing the font color let's do yellow there we go see how it looks i like white better but however you want to do that you can do so in the effects section another big thing that people like to do a lot in the effects section is the background that way it has color behind it so you can actually see what it's doing. You can also glitch it. You can add a shadow like this, and then it can go in there and add an outline to pull it out. There's several different things that you can do in here, but if you really just want to grab the attention, play around with the effects of the actual text so it will make it populate when it comes time to actually showing it to a client. The next thing that I want to show you is also going to be inside here too. When you guys are moving things, one of my biggest issues I have with moving things is that they always want to blend together or they never follow the exact setting when it comes to layers. So make sure that everything has its own layer. Okay, let me show you how I do that. So you can see the photo, right, is currently behind the setting of this white part. How did I do that? Put it in here and then you're going to come in here and you're going to click layer. Then this right here, you can actually click show layers if you want and it will go in there and show you all the different layers that's on top of it. That's why this is able to go ahead of this blue part because I layered it ahead of it. That way it wouldn't go completely covering the page. We also have this issue when it comes to text and moving things in general. They have a tendency to not go together and then you have to lay them on top of each other. Let me show you something really cool that I like to do, which is called grouping. You can group things easily by clicking the background. Okay, and then I'm going to click shift and then I'm going to click this. Now I have both of them grabbed at the same time. If I want them to move together, I will click group. Now watch how I move it. Yay. Now if I click ungroup and then I click move, uh-oh, I grouped it together. There we go. See how I can pull it off? But if it's grouped, it's not going to be a part. So if you have things that are constantly moving, you can go in there and group them, or if you can even just lock it, and now it won't move at all. <laughs> so it just depends on what kind of issues you're having with your text. A couple of last things that I want to show you that I do in here is content planning. A lot of people don't know when you have pro, you already have a scheduler built in. How do you get to it? So if I wanted to share this exact thing, I would go to share. And then if you scroll down here and click see all, keep scrolling and we have schedule. So schedule, you can come in here and pick what you want, what time you want, hit next, and then you can actually select the channel. So I have my Facebook in here, and then sometimes, for some reason, my Instagram doesn't like to stay in there, but I'll just go in there and pick my Instagram, and then I can share it to either one. And then you can actually select all of the pages or just one page, write a caption, et cetera, and then save a draft or even schedule it. So don't forget about that guy. Then last couple of things that i have is magic animate so this is a little bit different from the regular stuff that i do so i'm going to get out of here another thing that we do a lot as travel advisors are like templates or our quotes presentations etc so if i were to go in and make like a regular presentation this is the editing that i'm referring to right here i have one already set up when it comes to presentations there's a lot of elements that come into the actual presentation so I just want to show you a couple of them that are my favorite that kind of help my designs kind of pop. As you can see, I already used the text effect here, right? And then when I'm inside the actual videos of them, I don't come up with them on my own. Let me show you. So first we have right here is elements. Inside elements, I use it every day. If I do a live photo, if I'm doing, let's say a photo and just in my presentations, etc. You can do shapes. So if you want to write over something, you can click a shape like this and then write over it if you want. That's how I make the back imprint of like the words that are black. And then it has like just a whole group of words over it. That's it right there. It even has certain graphics. So if you want to design things, you can do in there. And But my favorite thing that I like to do in here is like the videos. So you can see the Palm Beach video, right? So if we were to search Palm Beach, 
and then we were to go, they have graphics, photos, and videos. I would go in and find the video and then move it here. If I were to move it here, it should automatically go to the background, but I can also just put it like this and then click on replace background and it will load in. So that's probably the biggest thing that I do when it comes to the videos. People always ask me about videos. That's where I get it from inside of the elements of the Canva itself. Now, another thing I want to show you too is that when you come to your slides, you guys know that you can actually animate the slide itself with just clicking on the slide, not anything inside of it, because you can also animate every single part of it. You can even order it how you want it to set up. Like if I click on this one and I click on animate, I can even set up an order. You can set up an order by appearing on click. So if I just want this one to appear and then this one to appear, I can do it that way. But if I'm lazy and I just want to animate the whole slide, Canva also has something that's called magic animate. How do you do that? So if I click on the slide itself, and I'm just clicking on the slide, it's gonna populate automatically because I hit animate. But if I just click on the slide and then I see animate at the top, this is for the entire slide. I can also change the timing of the slide. If I want it to last longer, I can do that. But we're just gonna click on animate for now. And then I'm gonna click Man magic animate. That magic animate will let me collect different templates that they already have and it will automatically populate for itself. So I typically will do like that. I have it set up for bold, but I will do that and it will do the entire setting of slides. Those are my top 10 favorite Canva hacks that make designing faster, easier, and more fun. Let me know in the comments, which one are you going to try first? I'm genuinely interested. And if you need any help, feel free to comment below. Also, if you found this helpful, I want you to make sure you go in, hit that like button, comment on the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all of these cool hacks that I share. See you guys again. Thanks so much for watching.